Good morning, my art fiends. This morning we are going to do a piece called Hoppy Easter, and it was picked out by my friend Nikki, and her um, her biography is on our Creative Arts Instagram. And I came up with this this design based on what she told me. So this morning we're going to start off with a pencil and an eraser. What we're going to do is we're going to make an ellipsis, which is a squished circle. So you want it to be in the center of your page, just like that. Now all of art is made up of shapes. So on one side of your ellipsis, you're going to do a line that doesn't go straight up and down. It goes off to the side. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. To make the bottom of our watering can, you're going to give a curved line on the bottom. Now our watering can needs a spot for water to come out. Curve it down. Let's give it a handle. And that is a C curve. Alright, we're going to do the same thing on the inside. Just like that. Now, before we do the picture on the inside of our watering can, we are going to add some tree branches for our Easter eggs to hang from. So if you remember, our tree branches are not straight lines either. And you're just going to put them however you want them. You'll want some long ones, some short ones. little branches coming off. They can cross over each other. Okay, so now they look kind of skinny. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them a little thicker by going on the other side of them. Link is probably barking at a squirrel this morning. Now some of them are going to be a lot skinnier than your main part of your branch. But you still want them to be a little thicker. We're not going to worry about erasing our lines just yet. I hope you all are getting ready for Easter. I know this is going to be a different Easter than what most of us are used to. But hopefully you can still do some Easter egg hunts. In fact, this weekend I am preparing a whole bunch of activities for you guys to look up. made some special coloring pages. I've got some Easter eggs for you to decorate and you can maybe even hide those around the house. Those are my tree branches. Now I'm going to go through and erase a 
parts of the branches where they cross over a little much. But if you plan on using a dark brown marker for your branches, you probably don't need to do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and start getting ready for our eggs. So our eggs are going to come down off of some string. And what I like to do is just do a couple of lines across so it looks like it's tied. Let's see, we'll put an egg here. And when you get done with this, you can decorate your eggs. I know on the picture I made, I did not decorate my eggs, but you can definitely decorate yours. one go behind the branch give it what we call depth Let's see maybe one more right here okay now we're going to decorate a watering can and you can decorate your watering can however you want to do it um, but I added some stripes to mine. Okay. And we have some grass. To do our bunny, we're going to make an oval. And then kind of a pear shape for the body. And two upside down long U's. And a cotton tail. All right, I'm gonna finish adding my grass. couple of clouds maybe some flowers and there we have it nice little Easter display Please be sure to share your artwork with me. I can't wait to see how you guys decorate your watering cans and your Easter eggs. And I hope that you guys enjoy this Good Friday. Maybe take a break from school. And be on the lookout for our coloring pages and our crafts that I have planned for this weekend. And I will see you all later.